name's Craig Leon, uh, Pat Turner Scholar with the uh, Sir Rowan Wilson Foundation. My area of research is unconscious bias in public service, particularly Indigenous employment and how we can improve Indigenous employment. And what I do hope to achieve is change in how the public service recruits, retains and develops Indigenous employees so they have a, a long and sustaining, rewarding career in the public service. My name is Therese Keane and I'm a recipient of the Sir Roland Wilson's Foundation Scholarship uh, beginning in 2019 and I'm researching new uh, biotechnologies for the identification of pathogens of concern. So that's using uh, the next generation sequencing technologies and also new bioinformatic techniques such as artificial intelligence and machine learning. When the Pat Turner Scholarship came along, it was sort of like all the, you know, the universal lined up, so to speak. The support I found from other uh, academics and students, for that matter, that have gone through the process has been overwhelming. Everybody wants to help. The opportunities that I've had as a Sir Roland Wilson scholar, uh, the main one that, that stands out is the ability to talk one-on-one -on -one with senior leadership throughout the various departments. Uh, at the level that I'm currently at, it is essentially unheard of to have that level of exposure and understanding the decision-making process and the thought process of people at that level helps me to be able to articulate the impact of my science in a language and context that they understand. I hope that my research has a positive impact on both policy development and capability development more broadly from a government and whole of nation perspective so that we can counter the threats that these sorts of technologies and pathogens present, but we can also take advantage of the opportunities that they present. For me, being a Pat Turner scholar means a number of things. First, to honour Pat Turner herself. She's a very strong Aboriginal woman who contributed significantly in the public service. Having her name and degree and understand and knowing her background and her advocacy for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples is really important. I really hope not only existing employees will have a more engaged and productive career, but uh, more Indigenous employees will be attracted to the public service knowing that the public service is truly a more culturally competent organisation and very genuine in wanting to utilise the skills that people, Indigenous people bring to the public service in that system of bureaucracy. Anybody who is looking to apply for a scholarship, my main piece of advice would be to have a passion and belief in what you're doing and a drive. That frame of mind and that mentality will get you through a full-time PhD. There will definitely be ups and downs. The nature of your thesis will almost certainly change, uh, but that's something to be embraced rather than feared. And constant interaction, a good relationship with your supervisor is, is absolutely essential. Before you put your application together, talk to as many people as you can, talk to universities, talk to other students, talk to people within the public service who have already studied and got their PhD. Go for it, 100%, you know, and don't think you can't do it. Don't think you're not good enough and have confidence and, and just really go for it. <laughs>